make sure you guys are really quiet. Like the heat is from the inside. Like <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you like on here, if you're stopping by my channel for the very, very, very first time, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, your foes, your family. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Ifalako. I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the um, pregnancy symptoms that nobody talks about. Like, you know, you always hear about nausea. You hit, like those common on weakness and nausea these are like the common um pregnancy symptoms but like pregnancy symptoms that will have you like wow like why did anybody tell me about this i never knew about this and honestly it was hard it is hard i'm currently 39 weeks pregnant i know right 39 weeks and the picking has not come <laughs> anyway yes i'm currently 39 no, can i show you guys my phone? Um, I put some things down and honestly the this video is not to um, scare anyone in case you know you're pregnant you're watching this you yeah, first time you know first time mom or whatever it's just for you to be informed these things do happen let me get onto the pregnancy symptoms that I definitely did not see coming okay okay so the first thing that I did not know about that could happen to pregnancy is that your areola will be so dark and will grow so big so this is the thing i've always known that like during pregnancy your breast will increase in fact i've always said i don't know if i've ever said it on the channel but if you are close to me if you're my friend i've always said that like, i want a big breast like i'm one of those people that i don't know when god was sharing breast i think i went to go and pee and then i missed out on it or something so like i don't have you know very big boobs i just have like big hips and big bones so I was like, oh my god, at least in pregnancy, this is my time to have big boobs. Yeah, yeah, for a yeah. Like, yeah, like I mean my breast increased as expected, but I did not expect like the areola. Like, I mean, if you know areola, right? If you are, if you don't know what areola is, you need to Google what it's just that where the, the nipple is on top of the areola. If you are of a different race obviously it's not going to be as dark as someone that you know like someone like me like i'm um, people of color obviously the hyper we produce a lot more melanin than you know other races so basically it's going to be you know real dark if you're a person of color so just that was something that i did not see coming i just thought that yeah you know the breast will go bigger but like the areola part it never occurred to me i never heard about it it was weird very weird Another thing that you know happened to me was low blood pressure. So guys, you know, for pregnancy, actually, I've heard about you know people having high blood pressure. In fact, high blood pressure induced by the pregnancy, especially for you know the first time as I've never heard of low blood pressure before, and I had low blood pressure, and you know I remember like I had to be you know checking it regularly just to make sure that I was okay, and then. Um, my sister-in-law told me to take um, um, salt water and then later um, it, it did not regularize immediately and then I went back to my you know, OBG and they were like you know I should be eating Pringles basically so guys I was on a Pringles diet so to speak that was something I definitely did not see coming I never expected this in my lifetime that I would eat Pringles I'll be eating Pringles not for leisure purposes but for health purposes. Number three is that brushing can be nauseating. Brushing made my nausea worse. And that's crazy because I would think that because of the um is it flow right now in the toothpaste, it will make me feel better. But like I think I don't know, it's just the the toothbrush being on my teeth, being on my gum. There was just something about it that made me feel not seated that it was just crazy that at some point I was relying mainly on mouthwash so that I don't have to feel the toothbrush on my teeth or my gum. Please let me know if I'm not alone. 
in the comment section if you've had this experience i want you guys to i want you guys this comment section has to be interactive let me know did this happen to you am i alone the next one <laughs> this one i don't see this one of course but it's partial deafness you guys up to now as i speak to you i cannot hear with my right ear so like even when i pick a call i like automatically have to put the phone in my left ear because if i don't do that i will not be able to hear anything that the person is saying i told my obg and he said that is part of the things that happen in pregnancy and um because i was worried like do i need to go and see an ant or what but the obg said there was only that um once i give birth i should give it time it's going it's going to go back to normal and then i started reading later on after i found that i had that i started reading online and i found out that a lot of women actually deal with this so it happens to some people partial deafness some people is even the both ears so i guess i have to be thanking god the next thing again that happened to me was something is something that's called kappa tunnel syndrome okay so i didn't know the name when it happened to me but basically it has to do with your your hands yeah so and it can come in different form. it can come in like tingliness in your hand or um or numbness on your hands or weakness of the hands so the one that happened to me is weakness of the hand like my hands feel so weak i can't like you give me something and i would drop it like I, can't, I couldn't hold on to things so something that maybe i'm just supposed to pick and i'll hold on like it would literally drop from my hands i could not hold on to things and and now you know finally told my it was my obi that told me to google it so i googled it and i saw that it's a thing here so it's called kappa tunnel so it has to do with the hands and at some point i remember one time that as in i could feel like they would need like is it movement in my hand i don't even know how to explain it but basically it's something that is associated with pregnancy as well another pregnancy symptom that i know i would expect is vivid dreams and do you know what was funny about these dreams they are crazy dreams that some of them for me in reality cannot happen like i've had dream i've had a dream as silly as i was talking with a zebra i swear to god i'm not exaggerating i've had dreams as silly as that like talking to the zebra i had a dream one time that i went to a store they had a sale and i was fighting for bag. i took a bag and this other lady came to take the bag for me and then we got into a physical fight in real life that can never be me do you understand like at most maybe i'll roll my eyes or whatnot but get into a physical fight because of bag that can never be me do you get that it's like my brain is overworking at night and i'm just seeing different things vivid 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 dreams and thanks to you know baby center i have this app on my phone baby i have two pregnancy apps on my phone baby center and what to expect but i lean towards baby center um, more and i now saw it one time in the app that vivid dreams especially like when you're coming towards your third trimester just get ready like you can dream of the most random ridiculous things like i cannot explain it but it's, it is it is a thing okay the next thing i did not expect is heat from the inside so you know how people always say um i know before i got pregnant i've always heard people say like pregnant people they will, maybe they'll say oh my baby is baking or whatnot oh i'm baking a baby but i never associated baking with heat right what i did what like if someone told me like oh my baby is baking or whatever what comes to my mind straight up is like you are growing a human being inside like that's just all like the heat is from the inside like <laughs> heat is from the inside ah, why am i sweating the fan is on this is on so explain why i'm sweating there's no explanation it's just okay it's just pregnancy it's part of the pregnancy package apparently um so the next pregnancy that i'm talking about is vaginal discharge this might be tmi but it's the reality okay you know during during pregnancy you don't have periods and whatnot 
okay but guess what those periods they are replaced with, with this child like i i have to wear a pant liner every single day because i don't want none of that you know <laughs> none of that of my actual part so you have to you know wear a pant liner i don't know why nobody i, I, I don't know why nobody talks about this why does anybody tell you that okay be, as in, be prepared for the vaginal discharge that you're going to have like just just be prepared okay like it is part of It is 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 it it's it's follow com. <laughs> there's like there's literally nothing you can do about it. It's just part of the package, and I'm just like, oh my god! I at first I'm like, what? Like, is is something wrong? <laughs> like, do I have an infection or something? Like, am I okay? But you guys, turns out, you know, it is part of the package. And then the very last one I want to talk about is hyperpigmentation. So obviously. Like I said, um, people of color will produce more melanin than other races, and I've always known that with pregnancy, you know, maybe some people get like two, three shades lighter. If we, if we are looking at this video, my neck, even my my arm, you guys can see this place. Like here is one color, from here is another color. Can you guys see? It's almost like I don't even know. Can you see? Like, I just want you guys to understand what I'm saying. Here is one color. This place is another color, and I'm just like I don't know. Have a pigmentation in places that you possibly cannot even, even, even imagine. So, guys, I hope you've liked one or two things from this video. If you're a man watching this, this I want you to watch this video with the mind that your your wife, your partner is carrying your baby, and you have to be as supportive as possible, literally. That's just it. There's no, there's no other way around it. You just have to be as supportive as possible because even she herself, she does not understand herself, so she probably cannot articulate, you know, properly to you. But just try your best to be there for her. And if you guys have any questions, any comments, you guys, you should have comments. I want to know how your pregnancy was. You're somebody that you, if you've never been pregnant before, if you have a sister, you have a friend that's been pregnant. What was it like? You know, ask me questions in the comment section. I want us to talk. I want us to just but yeah guys that's all we have for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in my next one love you guys so much thank you for supporting me